smoking with the Migos. It's just me and me and Migos. Uh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I got another video, video for you guys, and uh, I gotta catch up some things here. Um, a lot of companies sent me out some products, want me to review stuff like that. Some for their Amazon account, some for for some for YouTube. So um. I'm gonna be trying to test out some of their products in this video, but it's not like the main purpose of this video. Main purpose of this video is getting my uh, my cousin's car, uh, well my car, the Z, you know, smog. It's already smogged, the past CHP, now I gotta do headline brakes. So I'm gonna take off my cousin's rims, my cousin's tail light, tail lights, and then take it down to braking lamp. Hopefully it'll pass, get all the paperwork, go down to CHP, grab all the paperwork, get done with the car. Um, so you know, my friend that ends up buying from me has a peace of mind, everything's done. I'm really hooking him up at this point because he doesn't have to do any of the work, especially buying a salvage title car, there's a lot of liabilities you have to go through when you're buying it, um, but since he's getting it through me, all that work's taken care of. So I want to help him out because we're friends, I don't want anything you know, going wrong between our friendship and stuff. It's really about the sketchy about selling a car to your friend, um, but you know, if anything does happen, I'm always going to help him out. What we, you know, from what I can do. Um, so today, that's gonna be the purpose of this video, just getting his car to pass headline brake right now. That's like the main priority. The reason I'm getting my cousin's 350Z, I'm taking his rims and his tail lights because the tail lights on my Z, one of them has a small crack. It doesn't affect anything, but it's gonna fail headline brake. So we're just gonna be using my cousin's um, tail lights for that, for the headline brake, and then just swap them back because they're perfectly fine. Headline brake is very strict. It's a hundred dollars, no free retakes. So. It's a nightmare if you fail. 100 bucks in the garbage if you fail. So, really not into doing that kind of stuff. I um, just wanted to make sure it passes first time. And uh, just in case any bulbs go out on me, I bought all the bulbs and I'm gonna keep them in the trunk. So, if anything they say is not working, I'd be like, yo, I got the bulb, replace it, period. You know, I don't wanna pay the extra $100 and stuff. But before I do that, how many gonna be helping me with that? But so before I do that, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start um, you know, making some videos. I gotta make some, a couple videos for this uh, for this company that sent me out their, uh, their dash cam. You sent me out a dash cam right there. And another dash cam right there. I'm gonna be reviewing them. I'm gonna be making a video on them. Um, I, it's not gonna be on this channel, but I have links down in the future when I finish with them. You know, why not? I'll add a link to that one in the description because I really like that one right there. I'm gonna set you guys down so I can make this video for this uh, for this company, and I get back to you guys when I'm done. Alright guys, so I just finished recording the cinematics. It is so hot outside, just for me getting inside the car and out, just bringing it to the garage. What a stupid hot. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and set it up in my car so I can get, you know, some shots of it actually, you know, recording and stuff. It'd be pretty sick. Um, get some footage straight from the the camcorder into the, the, the cinematic edit that I'm gonna be doing for this company. I'm um, really excited to work with them. And at the same time, they sent me out two, so I'm probably gonna be doing a giveaway on the second one. Um, the main, the, there's like one that's like a mini and then a, a big one, they're both touch screen, they're both everything. So, um, I kinda already promised my dad the one, I, I thought I'd keep one for myself and then doing a giveaway, but my dad wanted one of them. So I said, yo, you know what? I give it to you for Father's Day um, <laughs> because, because to be honest, what I got him wasn't enough. So, I'm gonna give him my main one and give away the, the second one. I wanna at least be able to give away one of them to you guys. So, I'm gonna go ahead and set this up in the car, see how, you know, the quality of it, see what it does, record a video on it, and I get back to you guys when I'm finished with that. I'm just doing a couple errands, and I also gotta deliver some mail. Um, but once we do all that, guys, on the way back in the Z, we're we'll gonna be doing all the work that we need to do. Alright guys, I'll get back to you in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and go on the drive, you know, maybe you can get something, a little something, something to eat. And um, on the way back, I'm just gonna gather some footage for an edit later tonight for this company. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go out driving, close the garage. Uh, I'll see you guys when I get back, of course. Uh, I pretty much recorded all the cinematics and all the video clips I need to get for that company. So I'm happy I'm settled on that video. Um, Main reason I wanted to involve that in this video is because uh, you know the money I'm getting from that company is going to be helping me get some stuff done on this car. So I do want to appreciate them for reaching out to me. I really do appreciate that. And again, I'll have their links to their products down in the description, um, just in case y'all look into some dash cams. I mean, I never really, really, ever really think about getting dash cam, but if your area is unsafe and you you know, or you're just a, simply a bad driver and you know it. It wouldn't hurt to use a dash cam, or if you're you're conscious and you know the other drivers around you are really bad drivers, or you know in your area, 
people tend to you know key your car or you know just run into you they don't even care just some random stuff um, dash cams can catch them and that's how you can get out of a sticky situation you know in California there are some strict rules about if you rear end someone like 99% of the time it's gonna be your fault if you you know you hit somebody's back into the car it's your fault regardless doesn't matter what happened um, because they said if you would have had enough space, you could have stopped. But to be honest, some people, they, they do insurance fraud, they slam on the brakes, there's no cars in front of them, you hit them still, and they get you know they get the benefit, their insurance doesn't go up, they get a new car, they get, they get cashed out, whatever the case is, and you get screwed over. So if you have a dash cam, you can catch all that kind of stuff, and it's beneficial. Anyways, so Andu is a, like a long time partner of mine, he's been, they're always sending me out products to review on this channel. I showed you guys a couple of their products already, I kept their vacuum, I don't know if you guys can see that, there's a vacuum right there and there's a there's an air pump for the wheels right there, a compressor for whatever I need. I usually keep this stuff in my trunk because they're already in bags and my trunk's empty. They'll benefit me if I ever need them. You know, if there's a spill or something, I need to clean up something in the car, I got the vacuum. If I get a flat tire on the road, um, you know, I got a pump just in case. So, you know, their products are products you keep in your car all the time. It's good to go if any any situation happens. And another product ugh, they recently sent out is the, the portable jump kit. So if your car ever dies on the go and there's no cars around you, like let's just say you're driving up to the canyons and there's no cars. Um, your car dies, got a bad battery issue, this thing should be able to jump your car and get you where you need to go before you turn off your car again. Um, so this is another portable product. I'm assuming there should be a bag for this guy. Um, it's a portable jumping kit up to 12 volts. And if you guys know, BMW batteries are 12 volts. Most of the portable jumping kits I see are up to 10 volts and that's not gonna jump a BMW um, or you know any German cars at all. So as you guys, you know, German owners, this product's gonna help you jump your car no matter where you're at. You do need to charge it. It's not like, you know, it's just solar. Um, you need to charge it. Once you charge it, leave it in your truck for any situation that ever happens. Again, this product, link will be down in the description. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it and see if it comes with a bag. So I'll need it in the future. Obviously my car is fine right now, but I wanna check it out. See if it you know, comes with everything I need when I'm in a sticky situation. I keep looking at myself and I'm just like, why? Why? Acne medication, guys. Acne medication. I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this for you guys so you don't have to look at an ugly face. You know, I'm trying to make myself look beautiful for y'all. So, um, this medication is literally killing me. It's drying up my skin. I'm getting sunburns like it's nothing. Anyways, let me set you all up so you can see um, the jump started, kid. Okay, who cares about my face right now? Well, I like about this package the most. They package it like an Apple product. <laughs> the way it's sealed is actually very nice. Also cool, it has a torch built into it. So, that's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. And like I expected, guys, right off the bat, you get a bag. Oh my god, this bag's in really good condition. Like this bag is some heavy duty. I ain't got a lot. I'm very impressed. The packaging was like Apple. The, the, the box is like a Beats bag. You know, you put your Beats headset in. Very nice. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm gonna have to bring you guys a little bit closer. <laughs> you guys, I feel like I wanna take everything out and use this as my personal storage. It is so organized and nice. Now, I'm not gonna be needing any of this stuff, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in the box. But look at that, guys. So you got your portable bank right here. Go ahead and pull that out. Again, packaged very nicely. Feels amazing, too. Guys, look at that out of packaging. This honestly feels amazing. It is such a nice, I don't even know what to say. Look at that, okay. That is cool. I know it's just a power bank, but that looks fancy. That's one fancy looking power. I gotta check up how much this thing actually sells. And it's got a flashlight right there. So if you need a flashlight, I don't know if you, that means you can charge your phones. <laughs> a portable power bank for your car or whatever you need on the go. Very nice packaging again, guys. And up here is, you know, the jumper cables. You're lying. You are lying. This is, it actually has the iPhone 10 charger, Samsung, and the old charger. This is, you can even, char, you know, charge your phones. If you don't have a charger in your car, you forgot. You know, you could charge just at the hotel when you get there and take it back on the go. Um, you know, it's got a wall charger, a car charger, some jumper cables, and what is this? Oh, that is for the jumper cables. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that in there because I like how organized it is right now. I don't want to ruin any of that. Um, but yeah, everything's in there. That is just so neat. That is so cool. That's definitely going back in my trunk. Um, gonna stick with all the other Audio products that I have. Very, this is honestly the best unboxing I've had by them. This is the best unboxing experience I had by them. This is like pretty much I unwrapped it like an, like an Apple product. 
and this just feels amazing. Everything in here is amazing and it's very convenient to take on the go no matter where you go on any car trip. So I just want to say shout out to Audu once again for killing it. Always sending me products that I need. You know, these stuff you never know when it comes in handy. When you need them, you don't have them, you get kind of upset. So um, what I like about Audu as well, again, Packaged, everything is packaged, everything is nice and organized. I'm gonna put this and organize in my truck so it doesn't fly around everywhere while I'm driving. Um, what I like about their products as well, it's good quality, it works great, and at the same time, it's cheap. They're, they never overprice their products. It's, everything is like, I feel like they just build it to sell. But of course, that's not how it works. Of course, they make a marginal profit like every other company. But I, what I'm trying to say is, is it's very, very affordable. So again, links in the description for their stuff. Honestly, shout out to them. That is, that is way better than I thought it's gonna turn out to be. Um, and I just love the packaging. I'm a packaging dude. I love packages, I love boxes, I love all that good stuff. So, one more product, guys. I know I'm kinda like throwing all this at you guys before I get to the Z, but that's because Muhammad is watching a, a soccer game and I'm waiting for him to finish his soccer game so he doesn't get all upset with me he's telling him that, oh, I left, I left the soccer game to come help you with your car and it didn't work out. It's like, no, nah, man. Soccer game, soccer game. Go watch your soccer game. I don't wanna hear none of this at the end of the day. I'm trying to work on my car, but um, you enjoy yourself. So, another company reached out to me. You guys know that I have the Carly adapter. It's a code reader, all right? So, this is the last product, I promise, guys. But this product, again, I'm not, I wouldn't be advertising these products or reviewing these products if I didn't need them myself. Or, you know, like these products, I, like Audu sends me products are more of conveniency. Um, other companies, again, send me products are just like accessories. But this, as a BMW owner, is a necessity, I'm telling y'all. So, I gotta send out this code reader. It's supposed to be able to read check engine lights, any kind of codes on your car. Now, at the moment, I don't have a check engine light. But I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into my car and see if it gives me any other codes that I was unaware of that the Carly adapter didn't give me and it doesn't display on my, uh, my, my dash. As of now, my Carly adapter is throwing one code and that one code is some random light fault. Again, the, the, BMW's, uh, your car is always gonna have at least one fault. There's, it's just some random light fault doesn't give me what it is, and it, I don't see any lights that are malfunctioning. Everything's working fine. It was there since day one. So I don't really care about it, but um, let me see if this code reader gives me anything my Carly adapter didn't give me. Go ahead and grab my hand. Oh my lord, I almost stabbed the baloney at him. Go ahead and open this up. Oh wow, okay, that actually, I don't even need a blade. You can actually just repackage this. Okay, anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the OB2 scanner out, put that off to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and end up throwing all this away because this isn't a package I'll be reusing for sure. Bam, now it feels official, guys. This is an actual code reader, not some Carly stuff that you use on your phone. This is an actual OB2 scanner. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into my car. Oh yeah, I, I knew it came with something. This is like a, a micro USB to USB. I'm not really sure. This is more like for, I don't know what this is. It plugs in down there. Oh, I guess this plugs into your computer. I guess this plugs into your computer. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my car. Instantly turns on. I didn't even need to turn on my car. The, car's not, the keys are not even in the car. All right, so, saying it's no check engine lights. Like that, guys. So I read my codes. This is saying that I have no faults in my car at the moment. And that's because I take care of my car. I take care of everything I do on my car. So this is saying I have no faults, which is what I was expecting. Um, but I actually read it very, very, very quickly. And I didn't even need my car on accessory mode. So I'm pretty sure this takes little to no power of your car. And um, I guess if you want to go more in depth on codes, you, there is a menu. You can go back, I believe. Yeah, so exit, 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 exit. Are you sure you want to exit? Yes. Okay, so there is a lookup menu, but I'm not sure. I'm not an OB2 guy. I don't really know about coding any of that stuff. This is going to your computer for some other reason. Not sure. Doesn't matter. Um, this is a nice thing to have. I'm going to go ahead and throw this in my trunk as well um, because I like having all kinds of stuff just in case I'm in a bad situation. Or, of course, even trying to buy a car with a check engine light, you can see the reason for that check engine light using this, you know, using this OB2 scanner. This OB2 scanner only goes for, I believe, like $45. So if you guys want a cheap OB2 scanner on the go, um, the link will be down in the description. And just like promised guys, that is it. So I'm gonna go ahead and go inside and take a break and we go edit some of the cinematics and then wait for Muhammad to finish his um, stupid soccer game because I don't watch any games on TV to be honest. But I mean, I sometimes would watch it with them because it's uh, kind of disappointing how all my family watches it, but I don't. Um, I have better things to do. All right guys, let's get back to y'all when Muhammad's done. Yo, it's gonna be so hot, but I'm gonna go out um, See, so I'm gonna take out the 350Z and I'm gonna try to swap the tail lights on my cousin's place so I can go directly to headlight and brake. Um, hopefully nothing goes wrong, I'm gonna get pulled over or anything like that. Um, fingers crossed. Alright guys, I'm on my way. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
Hey guys, so shout out to Muhammad right here. He came and picked me up. I had to drop off my car. So um, basically the Z, I couldn't just get in and out. There was uh, one issue with the car, which was the, the, the tires. The, tire, the front tires were bald. And then there was also another issue with the camera arms, you were assuming. But then I showed him a picture. That's how the camera arms were supposed to look. So then they let it go, and they just said I need my, uh, my tires, and then I don't have to pay the headline brick again. So that's really good news. Um, but yeah, thanks again for picking me up. It's always saving me. Rest in peace, X. Rest in X? Okay, so, <laughs> so we're gonna head home. That's pretty much the end of that, and uh, yeah. All right guys, so you guys know I just got out of, uh, you know, I dropped my car off. We're just looking around different cars. You know, me and Muhammad are always just, you know, on the lookout for cars, um, especially you guys know I'm gonna be selling my car. He doesn't know whether or not he's gonna be selling his car. So, you know, just have some options in your mind, um, right, you know, before we go home. But this is actually very nice. I don't know, you guys, who did they partner with to make this car? Is this Mercedes or what? Because you can tell by these air vents, that they're similar to Mercedes. This is actually the only Kia that actually uh, caught my eyes. Yeah, I'm not really a big Kia fan, but this one's really nice. Wow, actually, dude, the steering wheel feels nice. All right, guys, so apparently I was wrong. This is not from Mercedes. This is from actually, they partnered with BMW to make this car right here. Um, and this one actually pushes 400 horsepower, limited edition, and it's Rumble how much, 30, 30 or? 365 horsepower. 365 horsepower? Yeah. And the fuel economy is actually pretty good. <laughs> Rumble brakes. Brembo Picks, this is like also a full package. And again, it's from BMW. It's kind of crazy how, you know, you guys seen that Mercedes partnered with the QX30 and then the BMW's partnered with the, the Kia Stingray. So you guys can see that these German companies are reaching out and they're starting to do some nice, nice cars. Stinger. 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 I'm about to say, Stinger is like the Corvette. So I was like, that's the... Oh, man, all-wheel drive. I don't want that shit. Oh, is it all-wheel drive? At least it's all-wheel drive, but at least it's not front-wheel drive. At least it's not front-wheel drive. And these have quad tips. You guys, like, the back looks like Audi. And the interior looks like Mercedes. And then when you go, because you can tell by the air vents, it looks like Mercedes right there. And then from the front, it's kind of like BMW with the heads up display and then the aggressive look. So it's just got a really interesting German mixture. All right guys, so we're pretty much at the end of the video. I'm back at home, I was recording the video and I realized I have no outro. So it was pretty much a vlog guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Basically, you know me, just trying to see all the sponsorship partnerships that I got. I want to show you guys what I received from them and tell you guys my opinions. And then of course the Z, Got everything done. Fortunately, it didn't pass. It didn't need some new tires, but it's better that my friend has some new tires than you know ending up in an accident. Tires are very important. I didn't even go with any used ones. I went with new tires. Um, so the car is gonna be fully good to go. Um, as soon as my friend gets back from his trip, and then also we checked out some Stingrays today. And it's crazy that Stingrays were partnered. You know, Kia partnered with BMW to make uh, not Stingrays. I keep saying Stingrays, Stingers. Um, it's crazy how Kia and BMW partnered to make this car because German's been partnering with all kinds of different uh, manufacturers to create new cars nowadays like how you know Mercedes partnered with Infiniti for the G GX30 something like that you know the car that my mom got I don't know why the lighting is making me turn out really red I'm not actually sunburned right now because my sunburn kind of comes and go with the stupid medication but I'm just extra red right now anyways I'm cooking up a few videos for you guys but in the meantime um, you know I just wanted to put this little vlog just getting some stuff done and uh, you know getting what I promised to my partners out and uh, big plans coming soon I just have to kind of hold off on them you know things in life don't just happen just like that sometimes you're just gonna have to wait it out unfortunately it is the summer and waiting is just so much more harder because you have nothing else to do the entire day so I'm gonna have to wait it out um, but yeah that's that and uh, hopefully in a few weeks we're gonna have some insane content when I mean insane content I mean like a great new car and some great content on a new car um, if you guys have any, uh, you know, car recommendations other than a 335 or 435 that I'm looking into, let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see them. And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to keep this out for any longer. So remember to smash the like button and remember to stay humble and peace out. Shawty hit my line and she's trying to get up on me. I tell her la habibti, that's too hot on my lahi. Where they are, I was raised with some mileage. Everyone got a friend named Abdi. I'm from OT.